Hello students, welcome once again to another section and this time we have to solve for A in this equation given. So um, let's write this, um, well, let's send everything to the other side. So it is negative, it becomes positive, A over A plus 1, then squared here, being equal to, let's send this to the other side. Now, you realize that when you expand this, right, we expand this whole thing here, we are just going to get... Um, so let's try and expand it. So we have um, we have a plus one here, right? So we square this. Now this goes into that. We have um, just um, a squared here multiplied by a plus one all squared. Then we are just left with a squared here being equal to one. And when we expand this, we should get um. So expanding this alone, we're going to get a squared plus 2a plus 1 here. Then we have um, plus a squared here. Now, being equal to, let's send this to the other side. Now we we'll send this, we we'll also expand this, and we are just going to get 2a plus 1. Then we are just going to get 4a, expanding this 2a squared plus a squared plus a squared here, being equal to a squared plus 2a plus 1. Now let's um, group like them. So we realize that this will get rid of that, and we are just left with this plus a squared here minus two a here. Then we are minus one equal to zero. So we realize that we get a quadratic equation where um, solving this quadratic equation looks a bit cumbersome. So let's use um, another approach in solving this. So what we are going to do? So since we have this in this form, we have um, so using a different approach. We have a here over a plus one here, right? Then squared equal to one. So what we are going to do is that we are going to set a variable to this value here. So let's say we set um, a variable x here equal to a over that, right? So if that is the case, when we expand this, then which means that a x plus a here, a s plus x here is equal to a, right? And therefore we can um, subtract um, neg uh, negative s from both sides. So subtracting negative s from both sides. So subtract it from here. So subtract it from here. You realize that we have um, a x here being equal to a minus x here. And therefore, we can, let's call this as equation one, right? Now, from here, what we are going to do is to um, obtain a second equation so that we can find um, a and x then therefore find the value of x so how can we obtain the second equation now since we said that um x here is equal to that then from the general equation where we have um a squared over one year plus a over right this being equal to one so being equal to one then from here we can say a squared here now this is just represented by x right so we have x squared equal to one and we can um call this equation over here so let's call this equation equation two right now what, so since we have equation two now let's try and um get this so when we have a squared plus x right so let's say but a squared plus um a squared is just um you having a minus x here squared then also we have plus 2ax, right? When we expand it, we should get that. So what we are going to do, since we have this, and a x squared plus x squared minus uh, equal to 1, then what we are going to do is to just replace the whole of, um, just to replace um, this by that. So we have a minus x here, squared here, plus 2ax here, being equal to 1, right? And from here, since we said from equation 1, right, from equation 1 here, we said um, a minus x here is equal to um, a s, and therefore a s is also equal to a minus x. So if that is the case, then what we are going to do is that since we have a x here being equal to a minus x here, now what we will do here is to, so let's call this one equation three right and from equation one so from equation one we set um a s uh, equal to a minus s so let's set it to another variable let's say y now what we are going to do next is to find y and therefore right from equation three
which we have over here now a minus x here we said should be equal to y so let's replace that so we have y squared here plus 2ax here being equal to 1 now remember also that um ax here is also equal to y so we can replace that one also equal to one now we have a quadratic equation so let's write it this way so with this using the quadratic formula right so using the quadratic formula where we have um y equal to where we have y equal to um negative um b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 then in this case a here is just 1 b here is minus 2 and c here is negative 1 so we just get negative 2 here plus or minus the square root of um we have 4ac the b squared so b squared is just minus 2 squared which is just 4 then um 4 multiplied by a then c which is just negative negative here right divided by 2a which is just 2 so over here we have y here is negative 2 plus or minus 8 here divided by 2 and therefore y here is just going to be um so when we divide it we are just going to get negative 1 here plus or minus um so over here we just get 2 the 2 roots 2 so we're just going to be um just root 2 and we have um negative 1 so that will be for y now from this equation we had over here um ax um being equal to a minus x here being equal to y now this should tell us that ax here is equal to y in the same way a minus x here will be equal to y let's call this a and let's call this b so that we solve this now now solving this right Solving this now from here, since well, we are looking for a, so we can um, make um, a the subject from here. So a here will just be y here plus x here. So let's call this one. So if this b, let's call this one c. Now what we are going to do is to put um, we are going to put um, equation c here into equation a, right? So doing that, we have um this is equation a so we just substitute uh, we put equation c which is just um so equation c here equation c here is just so x outside and we have y plus x here being equal to y now so from here we expand this get x y plus x squared being equal to y and therefore x squared here um, plus x y here minus y here is equal to zero now over here to use the quadratic formula to find um, a, um x so realize that a here is one b here is just um y and c here is just negative y so solving the quadratic formula we have um, um negative b so negative b plus or minus square root of 4a 4ac so we have um uh, b squared sorry b squared which is just y squared minus 4 multiplied by a here then we have so we have minus minus 4 y here then divided by 2 a which is just 2 right so we have x here being equal to um y here plus or minus um y squared plus 4 y here then being divided by 2 and with this so remember we established from here that y is equal to that so if y is equal to um, 1 plus or minus square root of 2 then which means that um our so this can be written as um square root of 2 then um plus or minus here um then 1 right but so y is negative 1 so over here y here can be written as um, square root of 2 minus 1 right so if that is the case which means that y squared will just be square root of 2 minus 1 here squared and doing that we are just going to get um so we are just going to get 2 here then minus 2 2 here and plus 1 which is just um, equal to 3 minus 2 root 
um, 2. Now from here we had y squared plus 4. So let's do that. So y squared plus 4y is this. Now y squared is this. So 3 minus uh, 2 root 2 here. Then plus 4 multiplied by y. y in this case is just this. So we have um, negative. Um, we have y to be uh, this. So square root of 2 minus 1 here. And therefore we have 3 minus 2 root 2 here. Then plus um, 4 root 2 minus 4 here. So this is just going to give us. Um, we have 3 minus 4 here. And we are going to get um, minus 1. Then we have minus 2 plus that, we are going to get plus 2 root 2, which can be written as 2 root 2 here, minus 1. So that will be for y squared plus 4y. So with this value here, we are going to replace this value here. here. So let's do that. So we have, um, so over here, we can have, um, as we have x squared minus y plus or minus y squared plus 4y being divided by 2. So replacing that there, we have s equal to y here is just, um, so we have y here to be um, square root of 2 minus 1. So we have square root of 2 minus 1 here. Then we have plus or minus the square root of 4y plus uh, y squared plus 4y is just 2 root 2 here minus 1. Then being divided by 2, just 2, which is just two yeah so from here from equation c remember that from equation c we said that um a equal to y plus x right from equation c we said so that is the one here from equation c we said a equal to y plus x so since we want to find what a is remember we are looking for a so we have a here being equal to since we have y here as um so y here is just square root of 2 minus 1 here, then plus or minus um, the square root of, so this is x, so we have x to be this, square root of 2 here minus 1 here, plus y, remember divided by 2, then plus y, and y is just um, the square root of 2 here minus 1. Alright, so expanding this, we have, um, so this is over 1. We have 2 here, so we have square root of 2 here minus 1 plus or minus um, 2 root 2 minus 1 here. Then we have um, this as 2 root 2 here minus 1. So you realize that we have um, square root of 2 here minus 1, then that of that. So it's just going to be 3 here root 2 here minus 1, right? Then plus or minus um, 2. And the square root of 2 here minus 1 here being divided by 2. And that would be um, the value of A. Yeah, that would be the value of A. Yeah. So thank you very much for joining me in this session. I hope um, this session was helpful. Um, if this is your first time here, please like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime we release a new video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in another session.